rubrics and grading forms help to evaluate student work based on the fine criteria and scales. You can add and create a rubric or grading form to each of your assignments. Within my class, I'm going to start by creating my assignment and fill in the necessary information. When I select the option Optional Settings, and as I scroll down, I will see Online Grading. Now I can launch my rubric or form manager in order to either select a pre-existing rubric or create one from scratch. I will click Launch Rubric Form Manager and it will automatically open my pre-existing rubric. If you want to create one from scratch, you simply have to select the option on the left side of your screen and you will see the option to create a new rubric or create a new grading form. If I wish to create a new rubric, I can simply select the first option and start adding criteria and scales. Right now, I can start adding my criteria on the left side, my scales at the top and at the bottom I can select if I would like a standard rubric, a custom rubric or a rubric with no numeric scoring. I'm going to stick to a standard rubric this time around and I'm going to add my criteria and the value for each of those. Once I am done changing my rubric, it will look something like this. I can now select the option to save it, close it, and finally select it so that it becomes attached to this assignment. Within my rubric and form manager, I can duplicate a rubric in case I want to change information in a specific rubric that I have used in the past, I can rename a rubric or delete it if I have not used it yet. I can also create a new grading form. To do that, I can simply click on that option, add a name to the grading form, select if I want to enable or disable scoring and fill in my criteria. Once I am done, I can simply save and close and select it from my list of grading forms.